Oh, a big stretching yawn. I know, I'm tired of it too, brother, but we're finally there. Hello, everybody. I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Probably the last video we will do on this game until, I'm hoping, someday DLC? So we're in the shop at the minute over in the Bowser Kingdom. I have grinded out about 11,000 coins. And I've been slowly but surely by myself the remaining moons to get me from 880 all the way up to 999. I think we're barely a few away now. So I'm basically just going to continue to buy moons until I feel like it's going to sell out. Which should be any moment now. It's a shame that I didn't actually do this in proper multiples of 10. I think I accidentally bought one, and now that's thrown the whole uh, the whole feng shui off. But no, yeah, so since, basically since the last video, I've done an any percent speed run of Mario Odyssey. It was very sloppy. I was very salty at times. Actually, it was only really in the first third that I was a bit, like, salty. And then after it, I just sort of chilled out a little bit. But basically, I just loaded up the world record time for doing any percent, which is basically getting the most minuscule amount of moons possible to finish the Bowser sequence up there on the moon. Um, and yeah, and it did all right. I'm not going to tell you what time I got. If you want to see it, you can either go to my Twitch channel or you can go to In The Little Wood Live on YouTube and you can have a little look on there as well. But it, was, it went all right. It wasn't too shabby at all. I reckon I could shave a lot of time off because there were a couple of strats that were kind of like pro strats that, you know, really practiced and veteran players would be able to do. And I was getting to do them eventually, but it would take me like a good couple minutes to try and land the same technique, so I think next time around I could do some pretty good, uh, pretty good times on it. Um, I don't know if we've finished buying all of these yet. Let me try this again. I'm assuming it won't let you buy any more than 999 moons. I'm basically keep buying until we've run out of money, or until it won't let me buy anymore. Currently we're sat on what, like that's what about 16, 17. We can buy two more moons. This should be almost exactly the amount we need. Because last time I checked, I think I had 851 moons. Sorry, 951 moons even. So I was only like, what, 38 away. Okay, here we go. Now I'd like to think that should be it. I'm hoping next time when we load the shop up, it's going to be greyed out. Because otherwise, my mathematics have been a little bit off. Let's see. Not enough coins. Really? Do we still need to buy one? Tell you what, let's go to the Odyssey. Let me check what we got left. Right, here it is. Let's catch these bad boys in. Plenty and plenty of moons. Come on. Is that going to be 999 or not? Yep, there it is. So I think you can actually buy more from the shop. But then you can just only cash a certain number of them in. We've collected, well, let's see. One, two, three. Come on, Cappy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've collected 999 power moons. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, and uh, that reminds me. There's a surprise waiting for you. Let's go to Peach's castle. Okay. Back to the Mushroom Kingdom we had then. What surprise is going to be in store for us this time? I was a little disappointed by the last one. Got to admit. So I'm hoping this one's going to get pulled out of the bag. I'm going to skip the cutscene as well. We don't need all of this. None of the flying stuff either. Here we are. Crown atop our noggin. Pants on nice and snug. So where was it? It was Peach that had the surprise for us, wasn't it? You're on top of the castle, chilling out on the old balcony. Oh, wait! Wait, what? Since when did the, ca uh, the castle have a hat on it? <laughs> wait, what? That is a little bit different to before. Can I get up to you from here, Peach? I wonder. Oh, I reckon so. I'm trying to use one of those, one of the new techniques that I learned from trying the speed running. So it was like that. And then you kind of go like that. And yeah, you basically don't manage to do it that way at all. That's fine. Basically, instead of doing the wall jump immediately, I sort of do the cap throw, and that got me through quite a lot of it. Okay, there we go. Let's get ourselves up there. Where's Peach at? I'm coming to see you, girl. I've literally done everything now, other than maybe grabbed one or two bits of currency. I think there's barely, like, three items left to purchase from the shops, and then we're done. It's such a big world out there. So much to see and do. Okay. Is that it? I thought we, I thought we had something else special going on. Do we maybe need to go and speak to the achievement, like the Toadette, or what? No, nothing from you. Miss Tiara is back with us too, and that's that. Please tell me I did not just waste God knows how much time to see a cap on top of the castle. Please. Oh wait, there we go. Princess Peach is back, guess what? Turns out she went on a world tour just for fun. So glad the princess had a lovely time. 
And that's what you've got to say for yourself. Dude, what is going on here? Is there something to be done? I'll tell you what, I'm going to Google this real quick. I don't care if I get spoilers now because I'm about to experience it anyway. Mario Odyssey 999 Moons. What what exactly are we supposed to be seeing here? Okay, so I'm seeing the cap on top of the on top of the kingdom. Do I need to go and speak to Peach or something or what? Oh, I'm supposed to climb on top of the top hat. Right. Okay. Sure. That wasn't that obvious before, but let's go and do it real quick. I don't know what we're about to experience, everybody, but let's see what we got. Right, jumpity jump jump. It normally gives you loads of time to do this, so I think we'll be fine. Is there any way getting Cappy back earlier or not? No? Okay, that's fine. There we go, we're, we're just about up there. Go on then, and... Oh, actually, that's a little bit steep. Was that Scarecrow there before, this one? Let me check, maybe he helps us up there. Ah, yeah, look, there's a flagpole there for us. Okay, sweet, got it. Okay, did a little shaky shake, make everything a bit quicker. And that one there as well. Shaky, 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 shake. Ah, ha, ha, here we go. Let's get Cappy atop the hat. We went to collect a 999 moons. Oh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I put the controller down for two seconds and you ran yourself off the edge. Oh my god. So was that it? Was that was that all? You can't be serious. Surely there's something else. Surely there's something else. They can't have dropped the ball this late in the game. Because the game's been outstanding up until this point. I, I, I genuinely think that might be it. Huh. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I guess at this point, I can now give a full and fair review of the game. Um, I'm going to say that I absolutely loved it. Let's run through a couple of FAQs that people continuously ask me. Uh, first one, what was my favourite world? I would probably have to say my favourite world was either the Lunchian Kingdom or more likely it was probably going to be New Donk City, purely for the festival. That brought a tear to my eye and I absolutely loved it. Um, other than that, what was my worst kingdom? I absolutely detested the Wooded Kingdom. I don't know whether it was the horrible repetitive music, I don't know if it was the styling of it and the weird mix between metal and um, nature. I don't know if I you know, wasn't into that, but that one for me... Not so hot. Uh, what was my favourite moon to collect? I would probably have to say my favourite moon was... I almost want to say it was one of the motorcycle ones, or the moped ones. Don't know if it would be the one where I was running away from the dinosaur, or whether it was the one where um, I had to go across, like, you know those um, those sort of fall-away platforms? They were, they were quite tough to do. And then the worst moon to collect, I would have to say, was... Oh, what would it have been? I tell you what, I, I, <laughs> I never admitted this, but I can't tell you how many times I edited out me trying to herd those sheep. Um, and I'm talking about the one specifically where there are two sheep to be herded in one challenge area, in one challenge room. Uh, that one really, 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 really got my blood boiling. Um, yeah, and I edited out a lot of the salt from that. I kind of wish I kept a blooper reel of all of my fails. That would have been quite a nice little sort of video to roll off the end of this. But other than that, really solid game. Absolutely loved it to bits. It's the first time I've ever run through um, uh, like a, a full 3D Mario game, let alone 100% it and even speed run it. Um, that is something that I think I probably will continue to do is the old speed run thing. Just going to work on any percent. I'm not bothered about trying to do like 500 moons or, you know, 999 or even trying to do 100% in because I do not have that kind of time. But now that I know the route and it fits inside of like a normal nice live stream, I reckon I'm going to continue on with that. I would highly recommend this game if you've got a Switch. I would probably even recommend getting a Switch to get this game. Granted, there is, you know, Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart and all these other great titles on there, but this title alone, I think, makes it worth it. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do let me know if you check out the speed run. Let me know any tips and tricks that you've got for me. And I will see you all next time in Mario Odyssey, either over on Twitch or when the next DLC comes out, which they've teased, or at least some people have been teasing at the idea of it being the Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine. Whether that actually happens or not remains to be seen. And I'll see you all next time. Hurrah. <laughs> <laughs>